What the heck? Keisha did not use that skill on me last time. I think if she did, I might have died. Maybe. I don't know, it didn't seem that strong. But wow. I'm surprised to hear she actually has a new move. Welcome back guys to more Mega Dimension Neptunia, and this time we're going on to Noir's route. Not sure if there's going to be any DLC stuff, so let's see. So, you've selected my story. Oh, I hope you watch my success very closely. It's my guess that Blonde's the one, though, that won't have a DLC character. So, uh, I guess I'll... Or, actually, it could be Vert for the simple reason of... Vert's Xbox and Japan doesn't like know that much about American games, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Conflict does not disappear naturally. Someone must bring it to an end. Well, not just that, but by all means. So, I'm going to actually put Noir in the back, because I don't want her to get too overleveled. But before I do, it's her arc. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. Noir's weapons. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, by the way, this is just her best... It can Jimmy Locks, Russell Jimmy's, Roast Marshmallows, and more. Uh, wow! A sword made with cutting-edge technology under Noir's guidance. Not only is the attack power high, but there's also a touchpad and a headphone jack. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Uh, lustrous black exterior. It's extremely light and shows the true value in Noir's hand. 10 extra XP after battles. Stuff like that will be helpful for when I'm grinding. Because I might, I have a feeling I'll be doing more stuff after I finish the true end. Like there's more content, but we'll see. Uh, cause, well, I know there's, like, level 999, but I'm not sure if that's something... Well, we'll get it. A CPU must never forget her elegance, no matter the situation. When it equipped, your HP. Now, I didn't realize it. Apparently, your HP decreases when you use stuff like this. That's annoying. Uh, Metal G Sword. Oh. It was made by Keisha. Chance of criticals, 5%. Uh, you know, I might keep that one. Noble Red displays higher attack power when used by CPU, so it increases her attack when in CPU form? That's interesting, but doesn't really go with her color scheme. Used to... you get rid of... yeah, yeah, of course. Fly swatters are hard to use. Electric fly swatter? Yeah, that, that seems pretty smart, Noir. But okay. Well, out of all of them, well, actually, though, is there any defects to this? Oh, it's an extra XP. Actually, that weapon's pretty awesome. All right, I'll go with Sacred Silver, and let's give her <laughs> that. All right, you guys ready? What the? Whoa! Actually, that looks interesting. Um, I'm just, you know what? I am doing that. I'm sorry. I had to. I I had to. I I had to. I I had to. What's wrong with me? I had to. Um, well that goes with the sword, but um, uh huh. So, something else I didn't uh, mention, there was this outfit that I almost lost it, because, alright, let me explain. 
I never had trouble with Vert, right? It's not the... You know what happened? Because we had Vert's... Vert's had a lot of, you know, revealing stuff and whatnot. But... And there have been other people like Sisha, for example. But I never lost it with them. Alright, let's just wait for the scouts to go through. But I never lost it with them. With Uzume, I did because... It's the person, like, it's literally her character. Like, she was beautiful to me because of who she is. Same thing with Noir. I mean, while Uzume is still, without a doubt, number one, Noir is a very close second. Anyways, okay? hopefully I can get that outfit that I was talking about. Oh, wow, what is... Is that, was that what goes with that? Or is it that? Can't tell. But what do I like the best? I think this kind of goes. Ah, <sighs> I did not miss the scouts, but I need them right now. I'm gonna go with her normal ribbon. I just think, yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. All right. Well, the deed is done. Yeah, um, look, I ain't even gonna try to hide it anymore, guys. Noir hates fan service. She does. But, here's the thing. What I realized. Swimsuits are not... There's nothing wrong with them. Right? Like, they're attractive, yes, but... It's not like... I mean, people wear swimsuits in public, you know? They... That's a thing that they do. It's not like undergarments or anything like that so there's while it is attractive it isn't actually wrong you know now bath scenes and stuff like that that's questionable but this is this is like i'm not gonna i i, I promise you this i will not have these when the actual game is going on i won't but there isn't anything wrong with these so we're just gonna we're just gonna go. So, uh, yeah, oh, right. Can't have Noir in the front, huh? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, alright. I am gonna keep true to that, though. I gotta put Noir up. Because, see, even though, see, even though I'd rather have Noir out, I'm putting her away because, well, quite frankly, don't want her to level up too much. So, alright. With that all said and done, I will catch you guys back later. This is the result of having learned what it means to be king. It's waiting on that. Huh. Not a bad feeling. And she still has the same deck, um I feel strength overflowing. And yeah, Umio, you You deserve to level up for a while now. Alright. And we reunite with Keisha. Just thought that that was, you know, something I would say. Anyways, moving on. Oh, by the way, so I I just saw the event. Hang on, let me see if I can pull it back up. Or not just saw, I skipped it. Um. Yeah, this one. So... Now that I've seen Madoka Magica, that is the worst name I would ever give a cat. That cat is evil. I cannot believe they would even make a joke like that. Like, no. No, I, I just had to say that. Alright. Um, anywho. So, uh, yeah. That's all I had to say. Did you hear what Arthur said? Just saying. Anywho. Well, that was a new uh, saying. 
Wait, was that a new attack altogether? Gotta check that out. Why do we have to go through something like this? And I remember in order to get that reference, I went and watched Madoka Magica and Uni and Napgear's voice actor, thereby me editing the scene because they were both in the scene, it triggered me. Uh but you know. Oh, we got Uni. Okay. Well, kind of good timing because I will place my deck onto the round and there. <laughs> my preparations are complete. So, they've already given Uni the best equipment supposedly. All right. Well, let's start with her guns. She's got a normal rifle. What is this? Sent anonymously to Wait. Anana Death? Did Anana Death send, send this to- Oh no! Steamax! Steamax sent this to her! It looks like him! Okay, now that's interesting. Um... Hang on, let me reposition her. Okay. Um... A repainted stealth but Remiscent of Nepgear? What, did she paint it herself? A hidden gun made to look like a cool umbrella. What, like the, the spies or something? Um, and of course, this is a weapon that drains your SP. Emphasize piercing power. The weight has increased, but the power greatly improved. Raises chance of criticals by five. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Alright, and this is just a repaint. Rifle with a pear colored body. She becomes more conspicuous. Okay. Gun made to look like an umbrella. And it's actually usable as an umbrella. Interesting. A lot of pink stuff, but I mean, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Well, I think out of all of them... Is there, there something wrong with this gun? Uh, I want Uni to have a rush. Her main thing is rush attacks, though. Um... I think I'll go with the snipe shot then. Oh no, I don't want her to have that one. Alright. Stealth Buster it is. Is there something wrong with this gun? Or, uh, not gun. Alright, and, wow. Uni doesn't, hey, sorry guys, Uni doesn't have anything. Yes, thank goodness. Um. Oh, and some... Someone wanted to see Uni with the beret on her hat, on her head. There you go. There you go. Anywho, um, and she's also just got you know nothing new here. So, all right. Well, that is Uni, but like I'm definitely not putting her in the party. So you can be with Umio, and we'll switch Nip your I mean Nip Noir out because I had to put her in the party for a brief moment. Oh my gosh, Nepgia. Anyways, what I was gonna say is that I wanted to showcase uh, what I do? Leave this to me. Noir's skills. But I need more than one opponent so I can switch her out. Uh, let's try you. And, yeah, my skills are failing. Are you kidding me? Alright, I'll catch you guys back when I find one. Alright, let's start with the strongest. Let's go. I'll slice you up. Alright, not 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 bad, not bad. It's my turn. Leave it to me. Did you say something? How about a drop crush? Ha! Drop crush. We... Okay. No. Leave this to me. It is my turn. I will fulfill my duties as king. Now greet my opponent. You know, it's honestly not that much. Let's just go ahead and do. Yeah. 
All right. Well, conflict does not disappear naturally. Someone must bring it to an end. That experience was minimal, so I think it's oh, that's okay. All right. Note to self, I have no eject buttons. They took all of my stuff away when I switched arcs. And just showing you guys, I am getting the Noir uh, event again. So, there we go. Noir is what we need to do in Noir's arc should be done. A million art the guy new skill. And XP up. Oh, well, that's not bad for her. Alright, well Nepgear just got her EXE drive and Nepgear Dam, which I was told to react to that. Which no worries, I will. But what is the deal with Oh no. Where is this? And you remember this scene? Kuromes. Oh my goodness. No, no, I'm I'm still I'm nope, 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 we're not doing that again. So it looks like I was wrong. Noir is the one with no DLC character. Because I think I would have run into them Leave this to me. by now. But alright, let's see. Well that certainly looked pretty cool. Hmm. Alright. So Nep Geardum. Geardum, go! Wow. What she's crying? Okay, hang on, do that again. Yerdum, go! She smiled too. Wow, that's. Okay. Leave this to me. It is my turn. Not yet. And then your EXE drive. She just not change her face. It's my turn. All right, Nepgear. I mean, Nepgear. You will not change. I feel strength overflow. And when did she get her EXE drive? My funny face has evolved. Okay. Okay, I see the rocket jumper now. Yep. Wow. Ha! You know, there was a thing that I was trying to get that I think I may have gotten in Vert's dungeon, I believe. I needed this. You know what? This doesn't this doesn't seem right. You need can you just yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that. It's really like you're in space. Well, sort of. Alright. I swear on my pride Gotta switch back. Actually, I really don't have to. Thinking about it. I'll just switch partners whenever we get into battle. Yeah. Sure. Alright, I'll meet you guys back. And we remember this battle. 
I'll save you now. No matter who my opponent is, I'll mow them down. But me when you get into trouble. I will wipe the tears of my lovely ladies. Keisha, you're not fighting a one-on-one -on -one battle this time. What the heck? Keisha did not use that skill on me last time. I think if she did, I might have died. Maybe. I don't know. It didn't seem that strong. But wow. I'm surprised to hear she actually has a new move. Wow. That almost took you out. I have a feeling most of this recording's time, because I have 50 minutes on it right now, but it, I have a feeling most of it's just scouts. Alright. Only Umio got a level up that time? Alright. Okay, seriously, does Arthur have another pose? Yay, I thought I might as well show it. thought man just like last time can that skill a million arthurs not kill somebody not Yay! or was that just an incredible coincidence really all right well noir's arc is done and i guess that's it for this episode uh so there was no DLC care. I was wrong. I guess that makes sense in the sense that, you know, Noir is a loner. She doesn't have one. Yada, yada, this, that. But, all right. Um, I would click next, but I'm going to go ahead and let the scouts keep running so I can get some more stuff while, uh, you know, from because I'm not going to... This is my last recording for today. Uh, so I guess next we'll start Blondes. Uh... Hopefully tomorrow, I'll, I'll, well, it'll be tomorrow for me. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. And now it's time for the question of the day. And for this question of the day, it's not one that necessarily has to do with the episode, but I got it from watching, I was watching Konosuba, and they had just recently went to a city, and its inhabitants were very crazy about their goddess which gave me an idea for this question which cpu doesn't matter who it is like it could be ray it could be pishi it could be even a cpu candidate like Nepgear, uni rom ram who do you think has the craziest followers now it could be you by examples that have been said in the story or it could be theoretical like what you would think somebody who would worship one of the cpus would act like so yeah I thought this would be an interesting one, um, so I'm curious to see what you guys think. Post your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time.